Hey guys, it's Jack, it's FTM Kingdom. Uh, it's Thursday, just about. It's like 20 past 11 at night, sorry. Um, and this week's topic is about school, um, coming out of school, things like that. Um, I didn't do that, basically. Um, I realised I was trans when I was 19, so I was out of education at that point. I didn't go to uni. So, yeah. Uh, the only kind of places I've been out is work and then with friends and stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, when I was, when I was in school, um, I went to an all-girls school, and I was generally, I mean, I kind of came out as uh, liking girls, obviously as, as queer, uh, for a, for a girl, when I was 12. When I went to my, uh, my high school, everyone was cool with that, um, everyone knew I was butch, like, no one really questioned my gender or my sexuality, really, or anything like that, so that was cool. Mm. Um, no, no, when I went to college, I mean, this was kind of why I didn't realise I was trans for so long. Um, when I, the, the, basically, the summer between school and college, because I went to college when I was 16 to do my A-levels, um, that was where my friend cut my hair short. Uh, so it was the first time I had short hair. And then it just kind of kept progressively getting shorter from there. Um, on my first day of college, my drama teacher uh, gendered me male. And I kind of ignored it. Um, yeah. And the, th the thing is, though, when I was at college, a lot of people, they uh, they just treated me like me. They didn't kind of treat me like a girl. They didn't treat me especially like a boy. Um, I mean, when I was in... Uh, drama, I, I I was like a male role generally. Um, if it was like one boy, two girls, then I'd be the the boy. Um, just stuff like that. Um, yeah, I was just treated like me, really. Which is so I wasn't really gendered, which is why I didn't consider my gender then because I didn't feel like I needed to because it wasn't an issue. Um, and then. Yeah, I mean, I was wearing guys' clothes, I had short hair. Um, but I did get a few, quite a few comments. Mainly from um, guys trying to be funny. Uh, you know, kind of the cis, straight, white guys. Uh, is that a boy or a girl? Things like that. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I, I th that didn't actually affect me. Um, because I didn't realise that I was trans, it wasn't a case of party. It was... I mean, it was annoying because it was kind of like, well, one, why does it matter to you? If you're not going to talk to me, it doesn't really matter. Um, two, like, why, why, why are you even asking that? It was just kind of like, obviously they were trying to get a reaction out of me and, and stuff. It was like, and, and like, also why, why does my gender presentation have to indicate a certain gender? Why does it matter? Can I not? you know, look butch and wear, wear guys' clothes and identify as female, which obviously I don't know what I was at that point. It was, it was just annoying. Um, so yeah, that was, that was pretty much my college uh, life from a school and college and um, no problems using the bathroom because obviously I identified as female. Um, and then, yeah, because it was it was only after I left college and went into the world of work um, and because I, well, I was at my the job that I'd had since I was 16 until I was like 18 and a half and then I had to get another job which is why and they were obviously all treating me like I wanted to be treated which is why I didn't realise for so long that I was trans well I'm trans um, yeah so I don't really have much to say. I think if I if I went to uni now, I think I I have quite a big issue. Um, you know, like sharing, um, like halls and. I mean, I, w I was actually planning on going to uni. Um, I just couldn't see a career in my degree. I I didn't know I didn't. I want to do an English language creative writing degree, but had no career plan to do it so I thought there was no point in doing it but I think it would be a lot harder to 
to realise you're trans and then go into something like that because a lot of people are just fucking immature um, and annoying. So yeah, I mean, I can't really give anyone any advice apart from just to brush off stupid comments. Um, I mean, I guess if I had come out as trans in college, I probably would have approached all my teachers, um, my kind of head of head of year, whatever head teacher, to kind of let them know what's up. Try and get any informal identification changed in terms of name. Um, you know, kind of if you're uncomfortable using bathrooms, I mean, first give them a heads up on what bathroom you're going to use because sometimes people get funny about that. Um, and if you're uncomfortable with it, you get them to tell you where all the uh, unisex slash disabled bathrooms are. Um, yeah, just just let you, let your teachers know. I mean, but yeah, I I just I just, I just can't really help much on this because obviously I haven't been through it. But um, yeah, so that's that's me done for for this week. Um, but I'll see you all next week. Bye, guys.